So I guess take us through the race up there and kind of what was going through you while you kind of fallen off the back of the last part of the race. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, quick race. Um, obviously, like I was expecting that coming in. It's, um, you look at the, the rounds at the Olympics last year. It's exactly the same, you know, 335, 336, and just gets faster through each round. So, you know, I was expecting that. Um, fitness was a little lacking going into this. Uh, you know, I didn't have a ton of consistency with training. Um, had a little injury, so I mean, just did what I could. And aerobically, you know, I made it to a lap to go off a decently quick pace, but just, you know, didn't have that turnover when it came down to, you know, big kickers and, um, you know, 200 to go. Just physically, like my legs were, were pretty cooked, so it's just like as much as I could do today. Would you be able to elaborate on that at all? Like in between USA's and today, were you able to run much, or like how was your training affected by these? Like yeah, I mean, I did my first run since USA's this morning. Uh, it was a lot of cross training and stuff like that. Even before USA's for like a week, I was kind of on the bike or in the pool. Um, so yeah, I mean, just with that, like you, you can get like as aerobically fit. As, as you can, you know, you can kind of mimic um, running in that sense, but when it comes to the sharpness and that turnover and that speed, it's just impossible to kind of get back into that without actually having some consistency on land and doing it on the track, so it's, uh, yeah, that's how it goes. I have a stress reaction in my tibia, so it's, it's honestly so much better than it was, you know, before USA's, but before USA's I only had you know, maybe a week off, so I still, still felt like I was pretty sharp and had that turnover. But you know, just three weeks of uh, like n no consistency at all when running, I that that got to me, and yeah, just like didn't have that quickness. I think this would have been a great race for me to qualify in, you know, given different circumstances. But it's just how it goes. World class field and a really good guys, so just happy to put my put myself in it with a lap to go and just kind of wheels fell off. So. Was it, it was diagnosed a week before USA's then? After USA's. After USA's. Yeah, I felt it before, but there was like not really any time or reason to get a scan right then, so, yeah. There's been some big Oregon news. Obviously, they got a new hit coach, Jerry Schumacher. Do you know what that's going to mean for your coach? I have no clue. Honestly, haven't really looked into any of that stuff. Kind of just all focus has been, you know, towards this. So, uh, yeah, not really sure. Kind of figuring that out after this, I guess. Do you plan on running any more this season, or is this? I'd like to. It really depends. I mean, first things first is, you know, make sure we're healthy, make sure this doesn't turn into something like a stress fracture or something worse. So, um, yeah, just going to take care of my health first. And, you know, the season goes pretty late. So trying to just, you know, keep keep it rolling and hopefully race something maybe in September or late August. Which leg is it? My left one. Thanks a lot, Cooper. First, thank you. First